What's up guys, it's Mike with padbangers.com. I want to give you a quick introduction to my new machine template called Drum Machine. And what this is about is a friend of mine gave me a call a few days back and he told me he's about to get a TR-8 or maybe a DSi Tempest. Not because of he needs sounds, but um, he wanted that workflow with those machines. He's a live performer, does a lot of live performances and jamming, so he needed something that is easy accessible and easy tweakable very fast. Uh, I knew he already uses machine on stage, so I told him I'm going to figure out uh, a way that makes machine feel like a TR-8 with um, easy setup, easy tweakable effects, easy tweakable sounds. So this is my first attempt. Maybe there will be updates. We will see. If I was successful, you can decide yourself. <laughs> it's free. You can download it on the website padbangers.com. I will put a download link into the description. I gotta say thanks to all the testers who spent some time with it and gave me lots of feedback on how to improve it. And yeah, so I'm going to give you a quick run through. Also, there's a, a more detailed documentation included in the zip file when you download it. So please read through the documentation. It's not long. It's pretty simple. Have fun with it. Let's go. A drum machine basically is a bunch of groups. Each group hosts one sound. You just can browse through the groups really, really quick. The drums are all built from drum sims. So group A is a kick drum, group B is a snare. Group C are your hi-hats, group D is a clap, group E is a tom, group F is a shaker, group G is a riser built in massive, and group H is a bass built in massive, so you can uh, play your own bass lines as well. Actually, the whole template works really easy. Plugin brings you always to the sound and you can tweak your sounds right away. No matter if it's massive, I set up a bunch of macros for it, ADSR, cutoff resonance, LFOs, and the wavetable position. So the most commonly used, you've got them right there. You switch over to drums and you can start tweaking your drum sound, snare, and so on and so on. So really, really fast. I like to set my drums in the step mode in the in the live situation. So um Step mode is uh, set up for a uh, four bar pattern. You also can record the notes. This is really up to you. Note repeat and stuff like that works just like usual in machine. The third button you need to memorize has two levels. It's the macro button. So on the first level is the sound tab. You have effects affecting only the sound and you can go to the master and on the master tab the effects affecting all sounds, of course, just like the master usually works. So everything is predefined for each sound to make it work right out of the box. I think I just jump in and create a little pattern so you can see how it's working. So let's start with the kick drum. I'm here in my plugin. So I'm right here, I got the drum synth. So let's play some notes. Step mode. Setting up some. I'll go to go to my snare first. So I leave step mode and I'm right back into my tweaking mode for the sound. Go to my hi-hats. For your open hi-hats, just use um, automation and increase the decay. You can either, you can do this just like usual. So you either go to your step mode, hold down the pad and you turn up decay or you let it run. Set a node. You hold down, uh, you leave step mode, you go to auto ride and decrease the decay. Clap. 
let's add some reverb to that clap and just go to macros turn up the reverb let's bring in some delay Let's automate the shaker a little bit. to our baseline it's already set up in pad mode you can uh, bring it into one of the scales you like and put it here in a minor mode Okay, so let's add some master effects to it. Just go to macro and use the master tab. Got a filter right there. Reverb. Get a filter, 
a reverb delay, a bit crusher and a grain delay. So a lot of stuff to have some fun. Download it, give it a spin, let, let me know what you guys think. That's it so far, mypatbangers.com. Peace!